In the dead of night, the wind howls like a wounded animal, and shadows twist into grotesque figures. I'm alone, or at least, I believe I am alone. Yet, there's a sense of something lurking just out of sight, a feeling that brushes the nape of my neck like the cold breath of the unseen. I inhabit a house as old as time itself, a mansion that has seen centuries pass by, each leaving their own eerie imprint. The rooms echo with whispers of the past, secrets hidden in the cobwebbed corners and behind the peeling wallpaper. It's a place where the line between the living and the dead blurs, and where the past and the present intertwine like the gnarled branches of an ancient tree. Each night, as the moon climbs into the sky, I can hear the soft rustling of silk, the faint sound of a music box playing a haunting melody, and sometimes the ghostly echo of laughter. I've searched every room, every nook and cranny, but have found nothing. No music box, no silk dress, nothing that could account for these sounds. I've tried to leave, to escape the chilling grip of this house, but every time I do, I find myself drawn back as if an invisible hand is pulling me towards it. I've lost count of the days, the weeks, the months I've spent within these ancient walls. Time seems to have lost its meaning here. My nights are filled with nightmares, twisted visions of the past that seep into my dreams. I see faces, faces of people I've never met, yet somehow I feel as if I know them. Their eyes, filled with sorrow and fear, haunt me even when I'm awake. And then there's the woman, a spectral figure in white, her face hidden beneath a veil of shadow. She never speaks, only stares at me with a look that chills me to my core. I've tried to approach her, to ask her who she is, but she always disappears before I can reach her. One night, as I lay in bed, paralyzed by fear, I heard a voice. A woman's voice, soft and melodic, yet filled with such sadness, it made my heart ache. It was her voice, I was sure of it. She was trying to tell me something, something important. But what? Each word was a puzzle, a riddle wrapped in mystery. I strained to understand, my mind racing as I tried to piece together her message. But the more I tried, the more elusive it became. As dawn broke, I found myself standing in front of a mirror, my reflection staring back at me. But there was something different something wrong. My eyes, once filled with life, were now hollow, my face pale and drawn. I looked like a ghost, a specter trapped in this haunted house. Suddenly I saw her, the woman in white, standing behind me in the mirror. But this time, she wasn't alone. Beside her stood a man, his face as shadowed as hers. I turned around, but they were gone. Only their reflection remained, staring back at me with an intensity that made my blood run cold. Who are they? What do they want from me? And most importantly, why can't I leave this house? As I grapple with these questions, I can't shake off the feeling that the answers may be more horrifying than I can imagine. And so, I remain trapped in this house, a prisoner of its past and of my own fear. As the sun sets and the shadows lengthen, I can't help but wonder, will I ever escape? Or am I doomed to spend eternity in this haunted mansion with only the ghosts of the past for company? What secrets does this house hold? What is the story of the woman in white and the man by her side? And what fate awaits me in this chilling abode? I fear the answers are buried deep within the heart of this house, waiting to be unearthed. But am I ready to face them? I guess I'll find out when the sun goes down.